There's truly an art to being our five news athlete of the week. We don't just pick anyone. It takes the right blend of skill, hard work, and performance. But this week's athlete, Gravitz Piper Beatty, takes it one step further and quite literally on the volleyball court. Our Alex Stewart has the story. Art comes in many forms. And Gravitz Piper Beatty expresses herself through several mediums. I paint shoes sometimes. So like plain Nike shoes or Converse. Because like for me being as tall as I am, I have really big feet. So like finding cute shoes is like impossible. So I just make them myself. But her artistic expression doesn't just stop with painting shoes and canvases. She gives guitar lessons to little girls. She plays guitar. She's an amazing artist. Um, things that you really wouldn't usually have time for because you play so much volleyball. Just as one might combine colors on a canvas or instruments on a track to create something spectacular, Beatty combines her passions to create art on the court. Volleyball is a lot more complex than everybody thinks it is. And I feel like art is that way too. So like being able to see, like when you're looking at a picture and painting something, be able to see the small details that not everybody else sees. I feel like that ties in with volleyball really well. Like being able to see the court and the holes that the defense doesn't see or that your hitters don't see and being able to like point that out to them. And seeing those small details have led to big results for Beatty. She is leading the state right now in aces. When Piper gets behind the line to serve, she's back there for a long time acing people. And when she gets up to hit, she hits the ball really, really hard. It's really powerful. In just her sophomore season, Beatty is best in the state with 89 aces, fifth in Arkansas in hit percentage at 363, and 16th in kills with 271. But step back from those numbers, and you can see the true masterpiece she's been helping her team create, a 24-2 season and a birth in the state tournament for the first time since 2015. We're really excited for the future. and. Um, the little girls are excited too, which is fun. Like we have 60 plus kids at our, our camps that we host after school because they come watch these girls play and they want to be just like them. We want to put gravel volleyball on the map and we're doing it and we did it and that's because of leadership from Piper Beatty. It's perhaps the best compliment an artist could have, inspiring the next generation of gravel volleyball to imagine what they could put on their own blank canvas. It's really cool to like know that when I was in like sixth or seventh grade that I had girls that I looked up to and knowing that I'm not for other girls is like really cool. So like knowing that I'm making a difference here is something I'm really proud of. 